It's so cold out here. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm trying to get some outside sunshine. It's like freaking 30 degrees and shit. Whoa. Anywho. Wow. Like cold, cold, y'all. Um, but anyway, greetings, welcome. For those of you who are preparing for holiday or celebrate holiday, happy holidays. Please be safe. Please don't break your wallet. And by golly, give yourself some, some quiet time, okay? Especially for those of you who, you know, it's a big deal, okay? Where you got family, friends, and all that, and it's just this whole big old shebang bang. You know what I'm saying? Um, but please remember to give yourself, I even got a big coat, y'all, and I'm still cold. You can see this, right? Anyway. But, um, Jesus Christ, please remember that, okay? It's important because a lot of people go through a lot of drama during the holidays. And so try to find a way to center and ground yourself during this time. I just wanted to come on and say hey and send love and light and positive vibes. Those of you um that are high vibers or should i say you know divine or love and light positive folks decent folks decent beings out there and you may have suffered a lot this year you may be grieving or recovering from major losses such as divorces breakups separations um in some cases i know some of you guys lost people to death uh this year and so for those of you who are going through that at this time, I just want to send you an energetic <laughs> squeeze, hug, love and light, wishing you well. Okay, on this, you know, path of recovering your life. And I'm hoping that you're able to keep your head up and get whatever help and support you need for those of you who feel alone out there. Um, I get it. Okay, I know everybody's stories are different, so not everybody has uh, healthy social groups or family dynamics, okay? Because it's easy for people to say, oh, you know, you're family and you're woo. And a lot of us out there, it's like that was the very issue <laughs> to begin with. Some of these people were, you know, main players in creating some of the things in which you all are trying to recover from. And so you guys might be going through things out there uh, at this time where you don't know who to trust anymore. I can certainly relate to that too. So for this reason, I'm trying the best I can to send love and light and positivity, energetically speaking. Okay. And uh, just hope y'all just keep, you know, come on. Got to keep your head up, right? Please dial 988. Do not feel ashamed. Um of anything if you're going through something heavyweight okay please dial 988 if you are having uh, toxic or negative thoughts if you know someone who does that's close to you and you love and you care care for them okay um, call call 988 on on their behalf and and just see what kind of guidance you can get because there's only so much you can do okay you can't make people um, do the right thing for themselves but don't be a part of the problem okay and um yeah be a part of the solution do what you can love on yourself take care of yourself okay let's end this year breaking cycles you know that's the best thing i can tell you guys learn whatever it is that you were here to learn during this this year grab those lessons the best you can if you're still here that means you still have time to work things out you have time to change the game you have time to change what your life turns out like okay you may not can go back you know what i'm saying we can't we can't go back to 2020 we can't go back to 2019 we can't go back to 2021 we can't go back to yesterday shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying we can't erase backspace that but what we can do is make a difference right now okay let's become decent beings for those of us that are decent beings let's continue to be decent beings let's continue to make those choices 
so that at some point we can create the momentum to start seeing the fruit of being a decent being. Just like some of us, we know people or we ourselves were toxic for a very, very long time. So there was a momentum built up with that. And there was consequential effects that came with that too. So like anything else, we have to be something consistently. One moment, one day, one breath, one step. And it's worth it. It's worth it, okay? There's nothing in this existence, you all, that should cause you to um, make choices that destroys your journey here unnecessarily. Please know that. I know it's exciting. I know we get caught up in the hoopla of things, the way this society is set up in the 3D matrix. But I'm telling you, there's nothing. I'm going to say this like a broken record until the wheels fall off. Because I know too many souls and individuals that ruined their existence. Ruined it. Utterly destroyed trying to chase things attain things in this 3d ruin themselves ruin other lives just to be praised worshipped okay just to have stuff to say they have a, a million dollar home a car to say they have a platform to say they married so and so or to say they like people just <sighs> sacrifice their own kinfolk. You know what I'm saying? Th there's nothing worth it. Let's not be people who support that kind of energy either. I'm not here to tell folks about their belief systems. I'm here to say anything that we're believing that's going to support toxic behavior be within a bloodline dynamic whether it's parents, siblings, whoever, people who support that, that's a mental illness. That's not loving. Okay, let's not worship and idolize that. We're here to be true curse breakers and we're here to break that type of mentality. Because love energy goes far beyond a title, birth order, blood relation. It's time for us to be what we say we are. We say we're decent human beings. Then it's time to be that. 